So guys, in today's video, I'll be sharing with you which perfume that was released in 2021 impressed me the most till this moment. So, if you want to find out everything about it, make sure to keep on watching. But before we get started, I would like to ask every one of you, please give this video a thumbs up and of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are here for the first time. And once you are done with that, please let me tell you everything about the best perfume release of this year. Welcome back! I'm really excited because today we are going to talk about something interesting, creative and that is actually worth your attention unlike many other modern perfume releases for women which are not and that topic I've already covered in one of my recent videos but you guys, I was so surprised to discover something that is unlike everything else and actually I have a feeling that there is like a well to which all brands come, take a little bit of the fragrance and then release it in their bottle. So we are sold the same fragrance 10 times. And if you have similar impression, please let me know. And I would like to tell you that this fragrance was discovered by accident because I love to make my research about what's new and then I go to the shop and I'm prepared. But I have like this eye that kind of identifies what's new and I just cannot pass through a new fragrance. Doesn't matter if I've heard about it or not and that was actually probably the reason why this perfume impressed me so much because you cannot beat this note I've smelled everything that's out there and so many perfumes are done in this shower jelly floral fruity style that I'm personally not the biggest fan of but today's one is completely different and you would not expect it from a smaller designer brand because it's not gonna be from Chanel, Dior, Saint Laurent no 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 guys instead it's Amber Crumpy and Fitch with their newest Naturally Fierce that I purchased yesterday. I've already worn a couple of times. I sprayed myself with it in the store. I wore it yesterday. I'm wearing at the moment and I cannot get enough of this beautiful fragrance that comes in a box like this. And you know, diversity in principle is captured right here, an Asian woman, black skin, white skin, you get it all, they put some thought into it, and this is actually the box, and inside it says peel back protective film to reveal mirror, okay, let's do that, ooh, so this is a 30ml size, this is a freaking mirror, now I like it even more, design is simple, but you know, this touch of a real mirror, can you see yourself? Well, this is the camera, guys, but yes, oh my god, incredible perfume in which you won't get your typical bergamot with rose and musk. Instead, are you ready for these notes? I didn't know them as I smelled it, and then at home, you know, I researched and discovered the most creative designer or overall perfume pyramid ever. So, in here we have note of cactus, agave, sunflower, plumeria, coconut, orange blossom, sandalwood, and moss. Are you surprised? I mean, this is not necessarily the most common perfume note selection at all and oh my god from the opening you really smell something exciting in there for me it's definitely about sandalwood in the first place it's a woody but also sweet fragrance with very creamy texture that I think is there because of coconut so coconut is this like tonic note and it adds like powderiness and creaminess to the most gentle woody note sandalwood that plays uh, one of the leading roles in this composition but there is also moss and vetiver so the base is really woody but like in this very gentle style and then if we get back to the top notes i mean like cactus agave sunflower very exotic combination and i believe sunflower smells grassy and plenty and agave might be sweet i'm not sure but let me know if you've ever smelled something prominent in the aroma of cactus so anyway floral part in here is created out of plumeria and orange blossom and I kind of can smell something very delicately floral but in the abstract way so it's not a floral perfume at all it's all about this creamy woody scent that might be because of Isa is super might be because of Ambroxan I don't know but what I know is that it smells sexy and I always smell something 
dirty in there but dirty in a nice way it's like perfumed skin but better and I just find that it really stands out among all the other, you know, fruity floral fragrances out there and it's not necessarily about beast mode projection but it lasts unlike many other perfumes and in my opinion it's Yash is awesome because it is not as all throughout the day and it is easygoing fragrance which is so suitable for the everyday wear because it's not too much, it's not overwhelming, and I really like its versatility and creativity, so let me spray even more. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And I have a feeling the more you spray, the better it gets. Also, note of coconut really stands out in the dry down, and at the moment I'm really into coconut fragrances, so a couple of days ago I posted the video about my favorite perfumes with that note, check it out but yeah so in the opening it's a little bit salty it's sweet it's interesting you smell the woodsiness right away but as it dries down it turns into something so delicious and in my opinion even the unisex but i highly recommend it to women out there it's definitely something different from perfumes in your collection and it's worth it even for this mirror because it's really cute and just in case you're wondering yana if you like it so much why do you have only a 30 size and you know what I thought that it's gonna be a perfect bottle because it's cute it's mini I can wear it when I'm in the mood for it because once again it might be if not the best perfume release of this year from the luxurious designer world till this moment but you know what I have so many other fragrances on my wish list that I want to purchase for my videos that I thought 30 ml size is going to be enough and it is very affordable and just a must have or must try at least so give it a go when you see it next time in the shop and overall I'm very pleased by this brand Amber Crumbie and Fitch maybe it's not that well known but I have this fragrance first instinct sheer and it's very interesting dry dusty orange blossom fragrance that smells more feminine than this but this is so far something that i cannot stop wearing so i highly recommend you guys to check it out and of course if you have any experience with it please let me know what do you think about it and if you have any questions left i'm here to answer them so drop me a comment and also let me know there what's your most favorite fragrance release of 2021 because i would love to know that and thank you so much for watching if you want more content from me follow me on my social media and the links you will find down below so make sure to check out the description box for all the helpful information and if you had fun watching this one and learned something new from it then please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and of course feel free to subscribe to my channel but if you are in the mood to support me even more then you can donate on buy me coffee website the link to which is also in the commentary section so guys i'm excited to hear from you and make sure to stay tuned and smell good we'll see each other in the next one really soon bye